Hey guys, this is Jamie. So today I want to talk about people not disclosing things on Grinder, and uh, I was kind of sitting in the evening really thinking about uh, a topic today, and I was thinking to talk about politics, uh, and I felt that it might have been beneficial, but at the same time I feel like I'm not very well versed in the Israel-Palestine uh, situation, conflict, to speak about it. Because when it comes to the Ukrainian conflict or UK affairs, uh, US things, I, I feel a bit more confidence in talking about that or trans issues in general. But when it comes to this, uh, I feel like it's better to give the spotlight to people who understand it better rather than someone random in Port who's living in Portugal. So today I want to talk about something that has happened to me, something that happens often, and something I I think we really need to address about grinder or rather hookups in general. And that thing is specifically the fact that people don't disclose as much as they should. So when it comes to grinder, I do understand that obviously there's a sense of anonymity. Uh, there's this sort of sense of um, a sort of going in and etc. But I do feel like certain things need to be addressed. Like for instance, in my case, I always make sure that, and after I went to a hookup and the person didn't understand that I was trans, I really made sure to put it in my bio twice. And uh, I check with a person to make sure that, well, I, I really just hook up with men, but this is a trans. So I make sure that the other dude is very, very aware that I'm a trans man. I pr prefer to send photos or explain to make sure that there is no, um, confusion. So I obviously expect the same. Now when it comes to different things like marital status, whether they're cheating or not, I have gotten more lax in the past. Like I, at this point, I really don't care if people are married or not. And sometimes I, I even avoid the single people because they are normally very, very uh, not as good in Portugal because they're the ones who are more clingy, they're the ones who usually present me an array of uh, discomfort. When it comes to married people who are cheating, I don't want to say that it, if you're married please cheat, but I just reached that point where I just don't care. Like when I was actively more hooking up, I was like, I'd rather be more safe um, and have a quick safe hookup than deal with someone like stalking me or something. So, yeah. But when it comes to certain things like disclosing that are trans, I do feel like people need to disclose that, myself included. Again, I do it. So I had a situation recently <clears throat> where um, the person didn't disclose that he was disabled and uh, I'm not trying to discredit it, but I do wish that information came up earlier. Like, as someone who has worked with people with disabilities through life or personal, I, I have nothing against it. But specifically when I have work the next day or internship or classes, and I'm going out for a hookup, I want to know a bit more about the person and if there's any specific situation or what do they enjoy, how to, which positions work for them instead of clunkily having sexual stuff. So that was my first issue. Um, so I go to hook up this guy and um, <clears throat> I kind of had some sort of 
I, I, I don't know, I just felt that, you know, he might, he might have some disability or something. I don't know why, I just crossed my internal way, like, to be honest. So then I go, I see he's disabled, and uh, we had a conversation, he was suggesting his apartment, or another place. And uh, <clears throat> then he said, because it's our first time meeting up, can we please do my apartment? I was like, even though I was keen on the second option. And uh, he said that it makes him more comfortable and everything. I was like, fine, go on. Then he told me that we would be specifically in another room, which is not his bedroom. And uh, I was like, sure, whatever. Then he tells me that he's living with other people. And I'm like, okay. So, uh, we walk in, I still have no idea who his uh, roommates are. And uh, then the door opens, um, and then I get told that somewhere around that time that he lives with his relatives and that I should get out. And I want to preface that sometimes when I get really nervous, uh, I don't hear things too well. So he tells me that, and I'm like, I don't understand, should I leave, do I wait? And he's like, get out. And um, so on top of me not knowing how to please his body or understand and sort of like being in the situation with the fact that I have to quickly, I do not want to hurt his feelings. I uh, understand that every person sort of has the, well, can hook up. And uh, it, it's more of a, I have no issue, I just wish he would have told me this earlier. Because again, when grands are here, the, the people who are disabled usually disclose it, and I have nothing like this. Thing. So then you kind of establish a sort of trust, and you understand what the person prefers, not prefers. So, yeah, then I had to be repeated four times to leave because I wasn't understanding what was going on, why did I have to leave and etc. And uh, I had to quickly uh, dress up. Uh, I was cross-dressing as well, so that was great. Remove my wig before I go outside and sort of do this really quickly. Uh, just because he did not disclose. And I was saying that I wasn't comfortable with the fact that uh, we would be hooking up while his roommates, quoting, would be in the same apartment. Because usually if I do hook up, where I get sort of like really assured that they will not enter the bedroom, for instance. In this case, it was not the bedroom. So I did feel very uncomfortable in that situation. So, the fact that he omitted a lot of details which made me feel uncomfortable and I did ask, well I, I obviously didn't ask if he's disabled or not, it made me feel really uncomfortable at the time. And again, I do understand that being disabled is a difficult situation, but I was also really struggling with how to work with his body. Like what would make him feel better because I was really nervous. Um, again, I've worked with disabled people in the past, so it really felt, it felt more like me thinking um, how to make him comfortable and how to be sort of impartial more than anything. Like in this case, I would have obviously preferred to have that set up front, I would have arranged another date, I would have uh, really arranged uh, a different location, I was not aware the location was this bad. So it was sort of like this enormous peel, field of uncomfortableness. And then when I left, I felt horrendously guilty that I was not understanding what he was saying for me to leave, and uh, then when I kept like chewing on it more, and I realized that, 
even though he wasn't brand new, we obviously still have like uh, straight dudes who show up because they can't get laid, so they go for him as a cross dresser. And while I have slept with straight dudes in the past, I mean, I probably have. I'm not gonna think I did it, it's just that I just don't think about it too often. Sometimes we just want to get laid. Specifically for like open. So, um, I don't know, the whole interaction is sort of uncomfortable and usually it's. I don't know, it just felt really off as well. Felt like he was how to put this. Not very um, well aware that I'm a dude, to put it mildly. So it felt a bit more straight than. He felt a bit more straight than I expected, but you know, so there were such sort of little moments which made me feel uncomfortable. Uh, so yeah, that that sort of is a showcase, sort of. Again, really not trying to like scold this dude. Uh, I did want to sort of sit down and, and talk about this. Also, that kind of highlighted even more in my eyes, like sort of, I, I was kind of clinging onto things like sort of, I've always been poly, I've always been open, and recently I haven't been feeling such a big desire for that. <laughs> Besides like, uh, sex thing or like people who are up with and know really well but even then it sort of doesn't feel like it's my thing anymore these days and I have been talking about it and it's sort of hard to sort of understand that what I want right now isn't how I felt before and there's nothing wrong with sort of changing these things either so it's also sort of my own problems, it's also dysphoria, which makes me want to hook up less. So, uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of array of factors, and then having an uncomfortable experience just makes me feel even less inclined to go on grinder and, I don't know, maybe shed light that I should stop sort of shooting myself, I don't know. But in general, I do feel like people need to be more transparent on grinder. I mean, of course, if someone's cheating, they will be found out. But in general, about the gay community, we too do tend to be very closed up. We try to not talk much. There's a massive stigma. People really try to sort of not say things that they think or they want to hide. So yeah. And also people don't read profiles. Like I've had a billion times uh, people ask what does open relationship mean? Or like they say that they didn't know that I had a partner and I have open relationship in it. So I always make sure these days. Well, when I also came out, basically. So yeah, I guess this was a story time. Uh, moral of the story. Please tell people ahead. It will be a more enjoyable situation hook up for you. Again, because a person will know how to work their body. And uh, what if it was not me, but someone who would have just said, yeah, no, fuck you, and walked off. That would have been a more devastating effect on the person as well. But, but yeah. Um, yeah, it really ended up being a story time, really. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, I just really wish we talk more openly when we're hooking up. I can't do anything about it, and uh, I feel like I'll do to dysphoria and um, my own brain going haywire. 
um, and just not feel like hooking up. I might, I haven't been open grinder recently as well. So I, I don't know where I stand on the poly open whatever discourse. Not discourse, but more like, what do I want? So yeah, thank you very much for watching. <coughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry my my throat is very sore because I have a cold, but I still try to do a video and everything. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, feel free to write something in the comments. And uh, as always, if you need sort of, sort of resources or any help, please contact me through any piece of media you find in your home. There are some links scattered everywhere. And uh, please stay safe. And uh, yeah, buy me a coffee. That helps my throat.